What message does your guide have for you today? Thank you. Thank you. Why has your guide brought you here today? It's time. What is it time for? It's time to It's time to see to be It's time to see to be for we What does that mean? It's time to be to see. What does that mean? The the energies are more accessible at this time. Mm -hmm. She is becoming aware in longer time segments than before. It is moving across the board. What is this energy that's moving? Cosmic interface. Mm. I'm hearing cosmic. Cosmic interface. Where is this cosmic interface? What is the origin of it? Where is it coming from? It is a natural progression through pinpoint source of expansion. She sees a star and these rays of light coming out of the star. Mm -hmm. What star is this that she sees? <sighs> it is she hears a sound that is a pitch, mm -hmm. unfamiliar, yet familiar. It has a song in it. It has a song in it. Does she recognize that song? What is Melinda feeling? What is this song? She feels longing mm -hmm. for the way it feels in the song. Mm -hmm. Does that song have an emotion to it that this human body could understand. Or a message. Unity. What is it? Unity. Unity. Mm hmm Collaboration, creation. 
celebration, joy. Mm -hmm. Does she know this star? Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about this star. Blue. Mm -hmm. It's a blue star. It's the blue diamond she sees mm. in her dreams. Okay. Yes. What does that blue diamond signify to her? This is her home. Let's go to the home now. Allow the soul to drift into that home. I'm going to count from five back to one. With each number, allow Melinda, her soul, to journey to that blue diamond star. Taking a deep breath in now, five. Begin to travel through time and space. Four. Back home to that blue diamond star. Three. Getting closer and closer now. Two. Allow the visuals to come. And one. Be there now. Describe this for me. What is this place? I feel lost in it. Feel lost in it? I feel lost in it. Mm -hmm. It feels... I can't see... Mm -hmm. The so. way I used to see in it. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to use the other senses that you use when you're in this place. Let go of what it used to be and allow yourself now to see from different perspective. Mm -hmm. Begin to use all of your senses now. What is home like? <sighs> Oh, I'm moving through, through, it feels like, ah, oh. layer, not layer, not layer, it's multi-faceted, shining shape. Geometric forms that I'm blowing through, mm. I don't understand. Do these ge geometric shapes or forms have colors? Sounds. They have sounds. Mm -hmm. Can you interpret the sounds as you flow through them? Octaves. Octaves. Mm -hmm. Octaves. One must move through the octaves to reach our truths hmm. within ourselves. Mm -hmm. Oh, there are oh, there are friends or there who are they? Connect with them, mind to mind, soul to soul, heart to heart. Who are these friends? We are she and she is me and we are collectively creating mm -hmm. our realities. Can you tell? Hey. Uh-huh. They say, What 
what do they say? They are singing. They're singing. It's 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 not singing like we sing. It is that have all of these living forms within them that vibrate and bring birth to more form. Are these creative vibrations? Yes. Mm -hmm. What are they creating now? Take a look. They create realities, they create worlds, mm -hmm. worlds within worlds. Even this form here is a part of that creation. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to ask a little bit about why this form is here today witnessing this creation. What does she need to know? And what she sees, hears, and feels is real. Mm -hmm. It is the openings. We have all chosen to come in at this time to bring in the Tones, hmm. the octaves, the abilities to uh, expand, expand, expand our understanding of ourselves. Can you elaborate more about who we are that we are here doing this? Are these humans? Yes. We underestimate ourselves as humans because we have been traveling through a myriad of darknesses. Mm -hmm. Is she able to see the forms that are in this room today? To see their journey? She hears them. Primarily ceased to. She hears through the tones. Mm -hmm. So, so do, does each individual form have a different tone? Yes. Hmm. Tell me more about that. How does that look? or feel or sound like it can sound like angels singing mm -hmm. in this celestial dance and it can also sound like bells clanging mm. Just depends. So let's focus right now on this room. What do these forms sound like? Celestial. Celestial. Mm-hmm. Like what we call male or female tone because of pitch of high, low, and
each note, each song, each sound opens and expands and creates more within this reality that we see as solid. Mm -hmm. So when a group of souls get together and they're all singing their own tunes, their own, their own vibrations, does that create its own reality? Yes. In groups? Yes. So what is this group forming today? Why have they come together to listen to Melinda? They have come to listen to themselves. Mm. Melinda is just just a simple example of what can occur when one owns their tune. Mm. When one trusts their song. We don't mean to be vague. Mm -hmm. It she is trying to she doesn't know how to put it in other words. Mm -hmm. What she is experiencing. Vibration, sound, song is the same as thought. Mm -hmm. In our thoughts we are singing. Hmm. Can you tell me how thought works? How thought works. Mm -hmm. You say it sounds like singing. Or it is like singing. We forget our... We forget our connection to our beginnings. It is meant that way for our... our creation to experience its creation. <sighs> Individualization is the the experience of creation experiencing creation thought is the byproduct of the reflection of the experience you see I see what happens when one gets caught in a loop of thoughts looping patterns mm -hmm. the human being has the opportunity of experiencing the looping patterns through the biological system of the nervous system and the endocrine system in its byproduct of what the thought is of the experience. It is really, truly the warrior way of being able to see our thoughts from a mirror that is dense in its application to give us the opportunity to truly examine our beliefs within that system because the ramifications are visceral, you see. Mm -hmm.
Anything else you'd like to say about that? To be kind to ourselves. Mm -hmm. To give ourselves grace, as she was told today with her group. Mm -hmm. Give ourselves grace and kindness when we see our looping patterns within our systems. We chose to come in at a time where the polarities are very high. What was the purpose of coming in at this time? Do we have a role in this? Absolutely. Can you tell me about that? Because there's many changes going on right now. Yes. We were, have been, we have been all working for a very long time to be here right now in this opportunity of changes. What kind of changes? It's multidimensional. It is not just here. It is in every aspect of our being. Like a domino effect. So, the changes, are they happening within the body and also celestial bodies? Oh, yes. Okay. Tell me about that. She sees... She sees planets and she sees patternings and movement at the same time, not just circular, also Are they linear? If linear suggests line, flat, yes. straight. No, this is uh, circular, forward, spin, mm -hmm. expand all at the same time in the system we are in at this present time that we call earth and human body. Is there a reason for it happening at this time? Reason? Yeah. Is there something that has to be accomplished with all this movement? Accomplished does not resonate. Mm. It oh, are we feel, going anywhere with it? With this movement? It is a... It is a... Uh, natural progression of expansion, creation. Okay. It is part of the pattern, the system. Mm -hmm. It is opportunity, tune, tune, sound, octave, movement, level, rise, rise. Mm -hmm. What is Melinda experiencing at this time as she is receiving this information? What's happening to her body, her human form? It is accepting the sound. It is accepting the vibration. It is accepting the information that is within those tones. Mm -hmm. 
Is she able to connect with those tones at different times? Yes. Yes. Are those tones doing anything for her own expansion? Yes. Okay. Can you describe what it is that it's doing to Melinda at this time? It is raising her... It is raising her uh, understanding. It is raising her ability to see beyond Mm -hmm. what has been told and believed. Mm. It allows her to travel Mm -hmm. through and move through those systems even while walking her dog. Mm. Okay, so it's constant. No. No. There are times where she, like others, We all become embedded in our dynamics. Mm -hmm. She can do so. Very good. Now, it's my understanding, getting off topic, but it's almost coming back to it. If you take something and put it in a drop of water, all of it, becomes like that drop in this room right now Melinda is receiving vibration and sounds and everyone is in this room with her are they also receiving the same if they wish yes Mm -hmm. it's there it's there it's always there how do they access it if they wish for others to I don't it's be Be awake to what is just in front of you. Mm -hmm. Take it in. Just be. Do you remember as a child playing Mm -hmm. outside? Yes. Do you remember experiences of, for example, first rain Mm -hmm. and how the senses could become bombarded by first rain Mm -hmm. and all the child wishes to do is play in the rain. It's like that feeling of connection just being without agenda. Mm. Just be in the moment. Yes. Mm-hmm. Very good. So the importance of Melinda being here today was to know about these sounds. Or was there something else that she needed to know and convey to the others? What message did she have to give them? Everything you experience that you may feel is odd, unusual, something you don't feel comfortable being able to talk with in a normal setting. No that it is your reality. Your reality. It is your reality. It is your reality. Do not deny your reality because in that aspect of denying your reality, you are denying your own self, you see. Mm -hmm. 
We are waking up to our truths. We must own them as ours. Do not take this one's word for it. So each person must own their own reality? Sure. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Trust it. Trust it. Trust it. And what can we do to change that reality if it's not benefiting us any longer? What can, can you re ask the question again? What can we do to change that reality if it no longer benefits us? Can we do that? Yes. Mm hmm Yes. But one must first own it. Ah. Uh, so first own where you are, and then you can make the change. Yes. Okay. That is accepting one's co-creative abilities. Mm-hmm. Has that happened to Melinda? Has she been able to own her reality and been able to change it? Yes. Mm-hmm. Many times. Many times. Is she at a point now where she needs to hear another message to move forward? Just keep going. Just keep going. Mm -hmm. Is she on the right path? Yes. Very good. <laughs> what can she do with this wonderful ability to channel in the future? What can she be doing with it? She feels very strongly in the purpose to be empowering others. Mm -hmm. Empowering others. Empowering others to trust their own their own self mm -hmm. good sovereign self mm -hmm. very good what message do you have for the others who are listening at this time Is there anything else? Any message from me? I'm hearing a song. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who's laughing? She says <laughs> She says she is She is you and you are she mm -hmm. She's It would be me to be laughing at myself. Joy. Mm -hmm. the, the, it is joy. It is joy. Very good. It is not laughing at. It mm -hmm. is joy. Yes. Good. Very good. So this is a joyous moment. Yes. Very good. Is there anything else that you would like to tell Melinda today? Or do you believe that we are complete for this session? 
she feels finished. Very good. Awake, completely alert, feeling wonderful all over. Welcome back. Hello. Hey. <laughs> Where were you? Oh, I forgot I was even in here. You were forgot you were here? Hmm. And the time is 2.22. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> I saw 111 yesterday. Yeah? How do you feel? Awesome. Awesome? Yeah. Yeah? How do you feel? Great. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. You don't remember much, right? What do you remember? I remember feeling that when with the star. Yeah. Hold on to that. Hold on to this. Yeah, talk in there. Oh, okay. Because they've got their headsets off now. Oh, okay. Yeah, that... Uh, that blue diamond star? Yeah, it just yeah. keeps saying it. It's like... Um, uh, the feeling of it. Mm -hmm. and, and the... Um, familiarity of it and mm -hmm. the home of it even though I didn't see like beings in the way we understand beings of like people um, it was just yeah I felt at home yeah now, the, the, the interesting thing about a hypnosis session, and you have just witnessed something live on your own, is that whatever she is experiencing is totally different than what you can imagine. Because you're not in her, in her head, you're not in her vibration, you're not feeling it, okay? So this is a great example of her, really, she's feeling it's her feelings that's that that she, you know she's the song that she oh does, right I, there are, I've never heard anything like it like here a celestial I say celestial did I say celestial yeah. but it's so beyond no. what we have here yeah. Mm -hmm. like yeah yeah so so when you have a session. It's very different than watching a session. All of you who were watching my sessions, uh, not all of the sessions are like this because she really goes deep. Um, and she's on a different level of even asking questions because you're really somewhere else. So when you have a, a person who's in a session like this, you can't go off you know, asking about your own stuff because this is all about you. And, you know, this is what you needed to hear today. Mm -hmm. Okay? No matter how many times I tried to get her off the path of telling me about people in this room, she really was blank about that. It was really all about her. Did you notice that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. So when people ask me, oh, talk about the 5D and talk about New Earth, it's, it's not about what I want. Mm -hmm. It's about whatever she needed to hear today and the message that you had today. Mm -hmm. And you, you were here about learning about your reality, owning your reality. We all heard that, that you need to own your reality before you can even change it. Do you remember anything else? Uh, the When I first started going into the diamond, yeah. it was literally like going through vortexes. Yeah. Uh, and I could... I mean, there's the, the the sound of it, the vibration of it. Yeah. Like you were watching her, but she was like oh, moving around in, in your chair. Oh, was I? Yeah, every once in a while. It's almost like when you go to fall asleep and your leg kicks. She oh. was doing that every once in a while. And and then the um, 
almost like um like when you see a rocket ship you know kind of yeah. take that whole force and then right it, it's but i'm i'm like the rocket ship <laughs> is what it felt like going into it mm-hmm. and then but yet music at the same time as I was going through the layers and it was like this holographic kind of geometrical shapes as I was going through. It's so bizarre. Yeah. It's bizarre. Was anybody getting anything from it? Anything on your end? Was anybody seeing any of that? She was talking about the geometric shapes or the octagon yeah. or octave. I was seeing like octagon, like mm. colored, oh. like rainbow shapes. Interesting. Like, Crystal fractals of, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but yeah. Interesting. I went off my own route after we got to the stars. You went on your own? Yeah, I was somewhere else. (laughs) (laughs) And I expected that. That's why I kind of took you into your own little journey. Yeah. So before she started talking about the layers, yes, I was going through like. I can't describe them like metal plates that are all locked up like this, and they were, uh, you know, for like, you. Like I'm going through it, and they're coming at me, and it's like. Uh, well, you're connected. You're both connected. <laughs> yeah. You're both connected, so you were probably in her, and, and wherever she was. Mm-hmm. Okay. And like when you, you go through so fast, but they're really openings, right? But almost like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, we don't have a language for this no. right now. Yeah. Yet. So it was pretty interesting, wasn't it? 